Dear students and friends, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Adil Majid and our today's session is based on a topic that is a concern for everyone. It's based on climate change, global warming and overall it's based on sustainable development which is a need of the hour. So we are going to need your support today for continuing this session and for making a real change in the world. So without wasting any time, let's get started with our new topic, Green Skills, which includes sustainable development. Dear students, so our first topic is green skills. It is the last unit of our book, Employability Skills. At first, we should take a stock of our environmental conditions first, before getting into green skills. The people living in the cities or villages are directly dependent on natural resources. For example, forests, lakes, other water bodies, and in the same way, these natural resources are dependent on humans for their sustainability. So, economic development, we call this thing in the economy. Ka koi ho. But, on the other hand, a man for his greed, for money and for wealth, he has used every resource at his disposal for something for his own benefit without caring about the environment and without sustaining the resources for the future. Now let's see where development and technology has brought us. A man has built many roads for accessibility. He has built different motor vehicles for transit. He has built technology for communication for ease of doing business and for convenience but he has done it without thinking about the natural resources which are getting depleted and that has taken us to sustainable development so what is sustainable development in simple words we can say sustainable development is the development that satisfies the needs of the present without compromising the capacity of future generations because when we are using our economic resources or any other resource for that matter, we have to take care of our future generations as well. Since most of the natural resources are in limited capacity, we have to utilize them carefully. So how can we achieve sustainability? For sustainable growth, we have to take many steps. First, environmental education and awareness programs. Second, sustained lifestyle. Third, eco-friendly methods in agriculture. We have to use organic farming and take care of our natural resources properly and use them in a sustainable way and then preventing the use of chemicals. Let us see what are the problems related to sustainable development. There are many obstacles in the way. Three major problems are first is food. The food we eat comes from plants and, and soil which has become nutrient deficient and less fertile so we have to take care of that second one is water water is very important resources for our livelihood our water bodies are getting polluted so we need to take a proper care of our water bodies third one is fuel we use fuel for cooking for transportation and other purposes but we are cutting down our natural resources now let us see what are the things included in sustainable development. First, reducing excessive use of resources. Jo bhi humare paas resource hai, unko hum carefully use karenge or conserve karenge. Second one is recycling and re reusing the waste materials. Jo humare paas waste hai, usko properly hum dump karenge. Third one is scientific management of renewable resources. Two resources which are like bio resources, we have to use them in a proper in and scientific way. Then plant more trees. Then we have to plant more trees in construction areas and in big cities. Or 
reducing air pollution then use more environmentally friendly material which is biodegradable and at the end use technology which is environment friendly which does not affect the climate sustainable development goal jinko hum sdg bolte hain sdgs are a universal call for the prosperity of human beings and for environment to reduce poverty and protect our planet these sdgs were proposed and set by united nations organization in new york in september 2015 for setting new agendas for sustainable development so there are around 17 development goals for transforming the lives of millions of people around the world and which have affected businesses governments and citizens everywhere some of these goals include no poverty zero hunger quality education gender equality clean water and sanitation affordable and clean energy decent work and economic growth reducing inequalities against human beings life on land partnership for the goals and having gender equality now let's see an example of a sustainable development initiative taken by mr avast hedge who is an innovator and an entrepreneur and works for the environment he had made 100% biodegradable bags which can be dissolved in hot water and decompose in natural environment as plastic bags were banned by the government at that time so some of the practices like organic farming vermicomposite and rainwater harvesting are the examples of sustainable processes dear students the asia pacific region is the fastest growing region in the world there has been massive urbanization and huge job growth over the last few decades which has led to massive demand for resources and land but that has come at a cost and the cost is Asia is also the largest emitter of greenhouse gases which has led to climate change affecting the humans and natural resources the area is also prone to natural disasters like drought Slides, floods, and typhoons. The climate change is amplifying these natural disasters, and they are coming more frequently now. They are affecting our homes, our workplace, and the rising climate change has caused rising temperature, and they are affecting humans, and they are unable to support their families. This situation has become unsustainable and is unprecedented. The climate change and global warming phenomena has taken over the world, and we need to sustain it by working in a cleaner environment. We need to control our eagerness and greed for money, construction, and other things. The International Labour Organization has taken a stand and taken an initiative. million working in renewable sector and there is a large scope of increasing these jobs by a huge margin these green jobs can be created by following the guidelines of just transition and working towards a environment that will foster greener environment and cleaner environment we have to encourage dialogue between workers co-workers and those important stakeholders important for building a natural and cleaner environment and for sustainable
government. So need of the hour is that the countries in Asia Pacific region should come together and join hands for a better economy, a better society and work towards a uniform climate control measures. Thank you for watching. This video has been shared by International Labour Organization for Cleaner and Greener Working Conditions. Thank you for joining us today and please do support our work and provide us your